What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope you like this video. Listen, Fred Hammond has responded to um, his daughter, and I really think it's more to the criticism that maybe he's receiving. Um, for those who do not know, there's a new uh, reality show that comes on VTV. It's called Grown and Gospel. It's basically the same format as growing up hip hop. You have sons and daughters of gospel stars or people who are very active in the gospel community somehow. Um, and it's a reality show. So Fred Hammond's daughter, Bree, is on the show. Um, and in the first episode, she speaks of her broken relationship with her dad. She doesn't go too deep into what happened or why they don't have a very close relationship. And she doesn't dog him out, but she does speak to the fact that she wished that their relationship was better and that she wants to try to work on improving their relationship. Um, Fred Hammond, who's very active on social media, I figured at some point would have something to say. So he did post today and he said, you know, he said, um, well, first he showed, well, first he spoke, but let me show you guys the text message. He showed a message that he said was five weeks ago between him and his daughter. And the message from her to him says, thank you for loving me despite me being damaged goods. I love you forever, Faja. I guess that's like a thing between them, F-A-J-A. And then he responds, you know I got you, my firstborn. Daddy is always here. Love you tremendously. So that's the text that he put up there. You see he put five weeks ago. Well, he also spoke a little bit, and he said, you know, his mother always taught him that people will put you in a closet on the shelf and close the door and not even realize that that's what they did to you. And he said, you know, and that's kind of what their relationship has been, that she sort of put him in the closet on the shelf. He said, but what I do know is once this whole reality show thing is over and if the show spits her, you know, chews her up and spits her out and leaves her laying on the concrete, he said, guess who's going to be there to pick up the pieces? Guess who's going to be there to pick her up? It's going to be me because that's my daughter and I love her. He also posted this underneath the um, video that he posted on his um, on his Instagram. He posted this message, and I want to read it to you guys. The most powerful, loving, protective part of me is not my singing or music. It's my thoughts and my words. The Bible says, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. My life has two very important groups of people, my family and friends, and my close family and friends. My close Family and friends, okay, sorry, y'all. <clears throat> my close family and friends seek out, trust, and value my heart, my thoughts, and my words of wisdom and advice that come from my failure and success of my 62 years of life. The other group of family and friends who I also love and who love me dearly do not value, trust, or receive my wisdom, knowledge, or advice that comes from my 62 years of life experience, which in turn creates relationship kryptonite. So I give everybody the opportunity to make a decision where I give, excuse me, where they want to put me because my mother, Mildred Hammond, taught me never force myself on anyone. As a parent, Proverbs never tells us to force instruction and wisdom on our children. It instructs us to provide and impart wisdom and knowledge on our children and allow them the space to make the choice to receive or reject it. As a parent, this is probably one of our hardest things to do because we want to protect our children from making the same mistakes that we did, not seeing them get hurt. But in the end, their journey will help them become who they are, who they are and who they will turn out to be. And the pitfalls and failures that we are allowed to go through helped us. Hopefully theirs will also help them become who God intends them to be. Hashtag family. So listen, let me cut through all what I feel like he's saying. I feel like what he's saying is, listen, I love my people. I love my children, okay? I have friends and family who are around me, who respect my opinion, who take my advice, and that's great. I have friends and family around me, not so much. But I still love them. We still family. And at the end of the day, I can't do it for you. I can lead you to water, but I can't make you drink it. As your father, I try my best to raise you and give you the wisdom that I thought you needed to be successful in this world, but you chose to make other decisions. I'm here when you when you screw it up, and I'm here to help you, 
But once I give you advice or I'm pointing you in this direction and you de decide to go in that direction, I'm going to just sit back and see how it work out for you. Now, that's what I took from that. Mr. Hammond, I'm going to call you Mr. Hammond. Even though in my head we friends and I call you Fred because I love Fred Hammond. Full disclosure, love him. Uh, but that's how I felt. That's what I took what you said. Now, that might not be what you meant, but that's how I took it. Anyway, I am reviewing Grown the Gospel on my channel, so we will follow this journey again. I feel like he's going to have more to say as the season continues to evolve. Let me know what you guys think. Put it in the comments.